Is he really just trying to swag more than the last guy? <laughs> the last guy swagged four spells, so Stana's like, you know what? I can swag four spells and the warden ability. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh kids, close your eyes. Rip. <laughs> Rip. We are back, ladies and fishes of gentle, with the next matchup in the Itsu Cup today. We got War and Glory taking on JD Esport. We got the king on the right side of the base. Checo from JD Esport coming in with a little Sui. Lalo action. Skeleton spell to help the queen. Okie dokie. Log launcher behind the king. Queen is going to have to fight the enemy queen. We go with an early invis to get the defenses to stop targeting her. Log launcher should be able to clear up that multi on the right. King dipping out. <clears throat> we wall break to try and give him access to the lower multi. And that looks like it might work. As long as that pet house doesn't pull him further south. CC troops coming out. Royal champion on the top side to help the queen. Headhunter's absolutely bamboozling the offensive queen here. We don't have any more invis to get her to target the scattershot. That's a little rough. King does take out the multi, and he might even take out the enemy royal champion. I like that. Yetis take out the other inferno tower. They get the expo. RC pops the hound. She goes to ability. The only thing I don't like is this scattershot might not die. Unless the queen goes back up and takes it out. We go with the freeze. <gasps> oh, they're going to get it. Nice. Scattershot's dead. Does the Yeti in the core take out the single completely? Yeti mites. Oh, that is so clutch. Amazing Sui value. And here we go with the Lalo from the left side of the base. Sweeper stays up. That's a little annoying. We got to go straight into the test of farmer right away. We're going to freeze up the town hall. Just gonna have to. Oh, we don't have any more freezes. Oh, oh. Well, that rage was off too. Oh, this is sloppy, actually. Oh, this is really sloppy. Ooh. The Sui was so good. The Lalo's looking a little sloppy. Can he still get it? Yeah. It's a good thing that enemy royal champion is already dead from the Sui. He's still gonna get it. Okay. Nice. Plenty of balloons left over, too. The Warden almost died to the Giga Poison. In fact, he does. The after effect kills him. But he still has, like, six or seven balloons left over. They'll get the last Builder Hut. He's got plenty of time for cleanup. He's got it. It's going to be a triple against Nick's base. Down go the last couple of storages. And a three-star to kick things off here in this match. Beautifully done. Moshaka is in with the first attack for War and Glory. Queen on the right side. Gonna be a queen charge, Lalo. Okay. Wall breaker targets the outside walls. Perfect. Queen will get the cannon. Gonna walk up, fight the enemy king. Headhunter to help her out. King to funnel the outside. Queen will get the town hall. Coco Loon going straight over the town hall. Hello, traps. Queen wakes up the town hall. We rage. We freeze. Oh, rip. He should have gone with the invis, not the freeze. Still should have gone with the invis, homie. Oh, gosh. This is sketchy. That third freeze was completely swagged as well. Yikes. Invis first would have helped a ton. Queen's going to fight the Hound outside the Giga Poison. That at least helps a lot. King clears the entire top section with the help of the Royal Champion. And here we go with the Lalo from the left side of the base. Warden on air to help support. Okay. Battle Blimp for the core. Okay. We pop that Warden ability. Proceed still alive. We got Headhunters in to help. We rage. We rage again. Queen go into ability. She should be able to take out the single. We clear the core. Looking decent. Ooh. He's hitting a lot of traps, though. Nobody got that air defense at 9 o'clock. Uh, again, another sloppy Lalo. This might actually fail. He still has that invis that he never used. If he would have just used that invis at the beginning for the queen, he would have had, like, three freezes to help the Lalo. Just saying. With the queen still alive, it might be a time fail.
Let's see which way Queen's gonna go. We get the air defense. We invis the owl. And the owl pick up that archer tower. Queen wrapping around. The archer tower drops. Ooh, he might get it in time. I think he does. Okay. <laughs> it's a triple, dude. Whoever doubted him. Whoever doubted him. 96. 97. Owl still alive. Goes down at the last second. Queen will finish off the base. It's a three star. And we are all tied up after the first round of attacks. Ali Khalil. Okay. Coming in with some more Queen Charge Lalo for JD Esports. Yeti on the top right. Barbarians at 12 to test for traps. And then we got the Flamey Flinger from the top side of the base. Queen way over on the right. Wall break to give her access to that Eagle Artillery. Healers on her. Taking a lot of damage. Is she okay? Woo! We rage her up. Too much damage, man. Lots of skelly traps as well. Is that mortar gonna lock onto the flame flinger? It might. Mm. Got a giant. Was it perfectly timed? Oh, it was? Oh, clutch giant. Flame flinger. Not going to get hit by those first two rounds of the mortar. It will get hit once, I think. Did Queen step up for the air defense? Well, this is going to get awkward. She's going to skip it. He sends in four balloons to snipe it. Rages up the healers and the balloons. It's good rage. Down goes the air defense. Here come some headhunters out of the CC. Queen will snipe those easily. You expecting Queen to go get the Town Hall? Yeah, he is. Flame Flinger will get the Scatter. Here comes the Lava Hound out of the CC. You're gonna need another Rage. Three Expos lock onto her. Yikes. He might not path how he expects her to. She can reach so much of this junk over here from that compartment. She's gonna get tucked into the walls and she... Is she gonna, just going to end up beating a wall here really awkwardly after the CC building goes down? She might. He's going to Lalo from the other side. Go to Queen Ability. Uh-oh. Already popped Warden Ability, and yep, she's beating a wall, and it's an awful wall. She's dead. Oh, gosh. This is Town Hall, dude. Still got a King ability. Still got an RC ability. Be haste. I need to invis. I need to invis. Invis your RC, bro. Ah! He's okay. King gets it. That was calculated. Holy stress, dude. Oh, he's got it. That's a three star. And JD Esports are two for two. Mask is in for War and Glory. Mask? Mask? Like mask mask? Is this the mask? Bro, Lexus Confusion. What the? King on the right side. It's going to be a Sui Lalo attack. Queen at three o'clock. King goes in toward the town hall. Queen goes in as well. Pop King ability. Tornado trap. Oh, it's a little awkward, but we get the town hall. Okay. Giga bomb. Giga poison. Uh oh. Queen in that Giga poison. Not good news. We pop Queen ability. Are you gonna pop the hound or she did? Dude. Royal Champion on the top side, getting some value. Unicorn's going over there though. The Hound might end up distracting the RC. We pop RC shield. We'll get the Expo, but then she's gonna die. Build a Stone Slammer. Since when did War and Glory recruit Mask? LOL. RC will be able to kill most of the pups with that poison. He's still waiting to start this Lalo. Invis the RC. She'll get the single. Okay. And we start Lalo from the left side of the base. Here we go. 
That one's Lemur, 8 o'clock, Warden with the 10 o'clock group. Have to try to get through that Eagle nice and early. Early spell to distract the Queen. We send some Headhunters. The Warden ability. More Lalo from the south side. He only has three balloons with that last Lava Hound. <coughs> Here come the Headhunters. Warden ability, yes. Rage Bell is in. Freeze on the Archer Queen, yes. Oh, come on, clear through the core. The core is the scary part here. Is through the multi. Is through the air defense. We got a skeleton spell on the enemy royal champion. No more headhunters. How did they skip the archer tower? Oh, that's awkward. They skipped an archer tower up there. 51 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Time is probably going to be the biggest issue because they have to go all the way back up for the archer tower and they're not going to start cleanup. The balloons won't start doing cleanup for the longest time. He doesn't have any minions at 6 o'clock. This could be a time fill. The plan was really good. I just wish he would have saved some minions for the bottom side of the base. This is going to be a time fill. Rip. Rip. Dragon Rider gets the storage on the left. Warden Balloons clear everything on the right. If only he had just a couple more minions down there, man. <laughs> Three, two, one. He's gonna fall short at 98%. JD Esports are in with the next attack. They've got a huge chance now to take the lead. Who attacked first? Hey, JD does. They've already got the lead. They got a chance to extend their lead here if they get another three star. Currently up six stars to five. King on the left. Gonna be another Sui Lalo type attack here. Three skeleton spells on this one. Skelly spell to help the queen go in toward the town hall chamber. King and RC gonna be able to clear this stuff on the left. Looks like lots of Teslas, possibly lots of skelly traps. Giant bombs as well going off. Only one skelly trap there? Wow, I'm surprised. Okay. We invis the queen, bro. She was taking way too much damage. Might have to freeze that expo as well. Oh, but she's still gonna go to ability. Did she get the town hall? You gotta freeze, you gotta freeze. <sighs> Woo! She gets it. That was scary though. Alright. How good is his Lalo today? We're gonna send a bunch of balloons to get the wizard tower. Minion at nine. Go from the top or the bottom? We go from the top. Being so slow. Here goes the stone slammer. Ice Hound is in. Here we go. So we're gonna get through the Royal Champion and the Archer Queen. We got a bunch of skeleton spells to help do it though. Stone Slammer dies. We get through the scatter shot. We pop warden ability pretty early, not gonna lie. Ice Hound freezes on the south side. We got more Lalo troops coming in. One more skeleton spell to drop over the queen. Probably gonna have to rage over there. There's the rage over the eagle. Skeleton spell is in. Does one more freeze, one more haste. Haste our way in toward that multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Dragon Rider on the top side's healthy. Okay, he made it work. Lava Hound still at almost full health. The Queen goes down. Does he have time for cleanup? Because everybody's doing their Lalos pretty slow today, but I think he does have plenty of time. How about that? How about that? 30 seconds to go. We got a Lava Hound still up, a Dragon Rider still up. Nice Lalo from JD Esports. They are going to be three for three, putting some heavy pressure on Warren Glory, who have to triple their next attack just to stay down by one star. My goodness. Down goes the Gold Storage, down goes the DE Storage. Nice attack right there. <coughs> Nick Noss is in with some more Lalo. We got a heal spell, we got one invisibility, two skeleton spells. Balloons on the cannon. Wall break into the eagle. King, golem, queen. Skeleton spell to help the king. Been looking decent so far. Queen should walk left. 
King can go fight the enemy world champion. Is he gonna use Log Launcher? To snipe the core multi, maybe? <laughs> oh, that golem's not gonna go with the queen. That's so unfortunate. Later, golem. And there's a lot of traps on the left. Super minion defensive CC. Log Launcher is indeed for the core multi. His queen might have to go to ability super early here. Poison spell for the super minions. Rocket balloons are still alive over there. Bro, we had to get through like three skelly traps. I wish he would have hit the queen with that invis as well. This is looking sketchy sketchy. Does RC get the scatter? Yes, thank goodness. The core multi did go down, but he didn't get the queen with the Sui. That's gonna be rough. It's gonna be really rough. The enemy queen's gonna do so much damage to his Lalo. The rest of the Lalo coming in from the top side of the base. There's a the freeze for the town hall. There we go. Oof. Got the rage. Important ability. Oh, but the NATO in the perfect spot. Gonna have to heal right there. As the balloons get stalled up. Only the Lava Hound going for the multi. Oh, it's so awkward. He needed at least one or two balloons going for it as well. More balloons from the right side. Has one more freeze, one more haste. He's going to use it all at 3 o'clock. Try to maximize percent. I mean, there's a chance this could still work, but... We got to end on that multi and the Archer Queen. He's got two Headhunters, but there is a ground expo. This is going to be so tough. He's got a lot of balloons, but does Warden stay alive? That's the question. The multi kills the Warden, he's in big trouble, and it does. Yikes. Oh, rip Nick. Owl's going for the Queen. But the balloons all fizzle out. Rip. Rip Nick. Not gonna work out. So close, too. The percentage is going to be super high. Gets the gold storage. Gets the elixir storage. Does he have the time? Might not. Nope. Falls short at 95%. Rip. Exodia is in. War and Glory desperately need a defense. JD Esports are currently 3 for 3. Let's see what they can do with their fourth attack. Battle Blimp from the left. Is it a Blizz? Looks like it. Lands right in the dead zone. With a Wall Breaker. Gets the Town Hall. And the Inferno Tower. Beautiful Blizz placement. Gets the Wizard Tower, the Expo. Hello, Giant Bomb. Can he get the CC pool? Yes, he does. Perfect start so far for Exodia. Okay. Archer at 6 o'clock. Gonna pull the Lava Hound down there with the Headhunter. Queen right on the Headhunter, then she'll fight the Lava Dog. Looking good. How are we gonna funnel each side? Sneaky on the right. Sneaky way over at 9 o'clock. Baby Dragon at 8. Alright. There's the Poison Spell for the pups. We got an Ice Golem to help support as well. That baby dragon gonna snipe the cannon too. Wow. Nice use of the baby dragon. It's even gonna start working on the king. Too bad the minion will take away the baby dragon's rage effect. But we got a headhunter, so it doesn't really matter too much. Ice golem is in. Scattershot locks on. Wall breaker kinda gives us better access to target that multi. I like it. Two skelly traps pop. Ice golem will freeze up. Royal champion to go help take out the eagle. King pops his ability. Dude, that baby dragon is trying to solo the multi. Queen will finish it off, though. And we can start the Lalo. No need to wait any longer. Oh, go, go. Oh, go. You're just wasting time at this point. Here we go. Lalo from the top side. RC picking up the eagle. Queen will get that first sweeper. We're going to Lalo straight into the sweeper. I'm surprised he didn't Lalo from the other side with the royal champion. But I don't think it matters. This plan was so good. He pops Warden ability. That sweeper is actually being super pesky. He's going to freeze up the sweeper. Last Lava Hound on the right side. There's no more air defenses, so the Lava Hound's just targeting a cannon. He's got freeze spells for an X-Bow. Lol. It's wrecked. 
absolutely wrecked. JD Esports are on fire today. Holy heck, they're gonna be four for four. He's got four swag spells after using freezes on like expos that he didn't even need to. Jeez, this base is crushed. Nicely done here from Exodia. They're at 12 stars after four attacks. Stana is in. The next attack for Warren Glory. Coming in with a this is as well. Early poison. Invis. Oh, hello, NATO. Uh oh. Holy giant bombs. I think he went with a safe blizz, though. Only three super whiz, a lot of goblins to pull the traps. He will get the town hall. Perfect. Oh. Woo! Close. He was getting a little greedy with those last two invis. It barely worked out time wise. We still got two invis to use. Gonna wall break on the right for the queen, Sui. Let's see how much value she can get. My dog is snoring. It's so cute. Queen on the right. She'll get the wizard tower. Gonna walk down toward the gold storage. There's a skeleton spell. There's the king going inside. Minion and archer to funnel the outside. Royal champion. Help support. King. Ooh, that queen hopped the wall. Perfect. So king can take her out. Here we go with the Lalo from the southeast side of the base. Lots of Teslas over there as well. Okay, Ice Hound's gonna freeze up the Eagle. That's perfect. Queen can get the second scatter and the multi. So that's a really good chamber. And she gets the enemy Royal Champion. Bro, it's looking good. Nice Sui value. Gonna freeze up the multi there. Get through the Eagle Artillery. Headhunters are stuck on the King. Come on, Warden. Go follow the balloons. Thank you. This should be crushed. Yeah, it is crushed. Perfect plan from Stana. I absolutely smash this base. Gonna be able to swag two invis. You're gonna need to use these haste. Maybe, maybe not. He's got the warden ability still. That king's still getting a few more defenses. Balloons for the back end. Yeah, this is completely smashed. Is he really just trying to swag more than the last guy? <laughs> The last guy swagged four spells, so Stana's like, you know what? I can swag four spells and the Warden ability. L oh, gosh. <sighs> oh, kids, close your eyes. Rip. <laughs> Rip. The phallic image. 30 seconds to spare. It's a triple for War and Glory. JD Esport are in with their final attack. Can they get a perfect war here today? Let's see. Another Blizz into a dead zone with a wall breaker. Oh, this one didn't give them access to the multi though. That's awkward. Stuck on the king. One more invis. That race spell already wearing off. Yeah, both multis stay up. That's awkward. Not quite the Blizz value I think he was expecting. Third queen at two o'clock. At least he killed the super minions and the headhunters from the CC already. Super duper early. You know, get the archer tower. She should keep walking to the right. Baby dragon to help funnel. Okay. She go inside for the air defense. Yes. Smart queen. King and ice golem going for the scatter shot. Does that wall breaker hit the junction? Queen technically has access to the multi. We'll see if she paths to it or not. There's a chance she could skip it. We pop king ability. We'll fight enemy RC with the king ability going off. That should help set the funnel for queen to go get the multi. Yes, smart queen. We're gonna also wall break into that multi compartment. I don't think it really gets her anything extra. She can reach the CC building anyway. We're gonna lolo into the town hall with the royal champion helping support from the bottom side of the base. Hello, lots of traps over here. Queen will pick up that sweeper. Did she reach the single? No, she's going all the way back up. <gasps> oh, for the other multi. Yo, that's clutch. So that last wall breaker really did help a lot. Okay. We're going to haste through the town hall. Pop the warden ability. RC dies. Unfortunately, she wasn't in the warden ability. Not the end of the world. He can still make this work. Got two more freezes and a haste in the bag. 
Sinks in a couple balloons for the backside wizard tower. And the archer tower. He's got this, dude. Wow. This team is kind of cracked. Oh my, oh, oh, oh. Oh, bro, these teams hate each other. <laughs> oh, he swagged everything. Oh my gosh. Wow. Plenty of time for cleanup. Down go the last couple of buildings. It's gonna be a perfect war for JD Esports. Jeez, these guys are cracked. They're gonna be moving on to tomorrow's matches in the Itsuko. Greticus is in with the final attack of the match. Queen charge, Lalo. With a jumping spell, with an Inferno Baby Dragon. I like it. I'm guessing it's for the Eagle Artillery. Queen, healer, she should walk up. Why does this base look familiar? I think I attacked this base in Legends today. Pretty sure I did. Queen will snipe the X-Bow, and I did the exact same Queen walk. I did not have a jump spell on my attack, or an Inferno Baby Drag. Let's see what he does. Headhunter to help her fight the King. Wall break in toward the Scatter. Bro, that one balloon's gonna take out the eagle. He doesn't even need the Inferno Baby Dragon. <laughs> That's an OP balloon. Queen should go in. Now, what are we gonna do about that multi? Log Launcher. That's what we're gonna do about the multi. I feel like it's a little late. These healers might take a little bit of damage. Maybe. That sweeper was actually helping push the healers away from the multi. Okay, the healers are not gonna take... Too much damage. They'll take a little bit. But down goes the multi. Poison spell is in. We rage up the queen to get through the CC. Log launcher not quite gonna kill this single. Which way are these yetis gonna go? Archers to help queen get through the pups. Yetis are gonna walk down. They'll get a sweeper. They'll get a builder hut. That's pretty much it. Now he's trying to push queen into the town hall. He's got the jump spell. Gonna need to use it. Could have probably done something with an invis to get her in, but the jump is extra safe. We got the Lalo coming in from the other side with the Royal Champion. Bro, I'm actually a little concerned. Does Queen go in? I guess it doesn't really matter too much. The war's already over. We invis and we freeze. Pop Warden ability, freeze the other side. We don't have any more rages after that one. Freeze, rage Queen through the Town Hall. We get through the scatter shot on the bottom side. Town Hall drops. We'll get the left single. We got Queen Ability. She goes into the Giga Poison, though. One more freeze. We're going to freeze the single. Keep Queen Ability intact. Deli Trap distracts. 35 seconds on the clock. She has to go to Ability anyway. I think he's going to get it. Ooh, hello, Tornado. But Warden and Owl can help snipe the single. We got 23 seconds to go all the way back toward 9 o'clock for cleanup. He's got it. Nicely done from Gereticus. It's gonna be a triple. But too little too late for War and Glory. They had two fails and they were both super close. It could have been a double perfect, honestly. If you remember, both fails were a 98 and a 95. Nice try to War and Glory, but it's gonna be all about JD Esports today. 15 to 13, 100% to 98.6.